Democrats introduce bill to ban assault weapons. What's going on, guys? Make Hell Electric. It is Sunday, the 20th of December, 2015. This will be a continuation of my last video because along with bringing in the Islamic agenda and the caliphate, you know, the establishment wants to make sure that you don't have the ability to fight back against whatever is coming, including the total New World Order takeover, microchip, and human beings and all that. Look at this from the Hill. House Democrats on Wednesday formally renewed their push for a 1990s-era assault weapons ban, uh, introducing legislation. A growing, growing coalition of Democrats looking to renew assault weapons ban that was originally signed by Bill Clinton but expired more than a decade ago. This has nothing to do with, with the whole Brady Bill thing. In my opinion, this has to do with the, the disarmament of American people. You know, the mainstream media never wants to tell you that the reason we have the Second Amendment in the first place is to defend ourselves against tyrannical government. Tyrann it wasn't so much tyrannical government back during the Clinton days. These days, though, if you can't see the tyranny at every corner, there's something wrong with you. Tell me what you think. This article from The Hill. Now, look at this. This probably has no chance of going anywhere because the more majority of America, here's one from Breitbart, majority of Americans oppose assault weapons ban for the first time in 20 years. Maybe Americans are starting to wake up to the fact that our government really isn't working in our best favor. Put a link to this. We got, look at this. <clears throat> governor to ban sales to people on government watch list. The governor of Connecticut thinks he could take it upon himself to ban people on any government watch list from buying weapons. If you live in Connecticut especially, please tell me what you think about that. That is just a gross violation of the Second Amendment, as is the, the government talking about banning people on their secret list in the first place. Meanwhile, down in Florida, did you see this? Sheriff threatens to shoot concealed carriers. This is a, this is a little town, a little county down in Florida. Really? You're going to shoot concealed carriers, are you? Uh, you know, please tell me this, this, this sheriff is going to be elected for another term. I'll put a link to that. Meanwhile, the hysteria over guns in this country is just outright ridiculous. School, school says banning students' Star Wars t-shirt was an honest mistake. This student got sent home because he had a picture of a like a stormtrooper with a ray gun. This is how ridiculous it's getting. You got all of Hollywood. Look at this. Uh, Jennifer Aniston, all these other people coming out, uh, host of celebrities to team up against uh, team up with Obama and video calling for stricter gun laws. All of these big Hollywood hotshots getting together for a psyop video from the Daily Mail. You got to pull it up and just check it out. You know all these. The celebrities who have made hundreds of millions of dollars at the box office, some of them starring or being parts in, you know, very violent movies, and, you know, with, with all kinds of shoot 'em up bang bang. Now they want to come out for gun control. You know, screw all of you people. You people wouldn't be famous had not been for we the people. I say boycott the box office. I'll put a link to that. We got, look at this. Are we closer to a revolution? What do you think? Somebody thinks we're closer to the revolution. And then this article from Breitbart, very interesting read here. I don't know. You know, I got to give a shout out to my friend, the Show Me Baby, Matt Short, down in Texas. Texas gun rights advocates to host mock mass shooting. You guys did an immaculate job. I will put a link from Fox News Insider, my friend, the show. I am proud to call you my friend, Matt. You did a great job, man. Check him out on Fox and Friends. Put a link to it. And I will put one video at the bottom by the Patriot Nurse. The time for compromise is over. Very good video. Ten minutes long. Check it out. You know, maybe I don't do a good enough job of, of saying saying things the way certain people want to hear them. Check her video out. Maybe you'll like the way she says it. I love it. Please tell me your thoughts on all this. You know, as far as what I think is going on, Naomi Wolf said it best in the end of America. We are watching America being closed down. The very fact that we're talking about taking guns away from people on watch lists and banning assault weapons, this is all part of, a, of the bigger plan. You, you cannot have tyranny upon an armed populace. You know, how many years we've been preaching this stuff? We were called crazy years ago. Now we're watching it happen. Under the guise of all of these false flags, all of this, some of these shootings are real, some of them are staged. You know, there's a mixture of all stuff. Like Rahm Emanuel said, never let a good crisis go to waste. That's the same man that said, if we put you on our secret government list, you're not part of the American family. Rahm Emanuel, look it up, speaking at the Brady Center years ago. You're not part of the American family if you're on our secret list. You dual citizen bitch. Please tell me your thoughts on all this. I will put links to uh, Naomi Wolf, The End of America, all three of those, and the Wake Up Call documentary, as I have pushed many times. That's what I believe is going on. Please share those links. Please pass them around. Tell me what you think. Please rate this video. Please pass it around. Make people aware of this stuff. You know, years ago, we were screaming, they're coming for the guns, and we're called crazy. Now they're coming for the guns. Where's all the people that were calling us crazy? Your thoughts? 
You guys take care, stay safe, have a good rest of the weekend. I will see you on the next one.